So did y'all get to share the good news? <laughs> Sounded like there was a lot of sharing going on. There is. There is. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to worship here at Bethel. Welcome to old friends who come periodically. Good to have you here. Welcome to new friends. Welcome to everybody. Before we begin worship this morning, I just want to um, run through a few of the announcements that you already saw on the screen if you were in the sanctuary. Just as reminders, once again, the sign-up sheet for the CPR class that will be led by Sue Griffith is in the back on the soundboard. Um, it will be held on March 16th from 9 to 11. That's a Saturday morning. The property managers um, have been working oh so very hard this week. Unless you've been here, you haven't got a clue. You need to be in deep prayer for these people because they've put in many, many hours. They've come up against a lot of resistance in that floor downstairs and um, some heartbreak and some backbreak, or headbreak, I guess we should, go, we should call it. The property managers will have a short meeting immediately following worship. Dave has notified you all. This is just a friendly reminder. Please, I'm not kidding when I say pray for them because they have worked very, very hard. Um, and it's not been an easy job. We are still collecting newspapers for Bible school. You will see a tub out in the um, narthex, the vestibule. We also have a, a cardboard box that's marked eggs that are filled. That's for the eggs that you have taken home and you already have brought back filled. They're on one side. You'll see a pile of bagged eggs that still need to go home and be loved and filled. There's about 15 dozen over there. So if you could take a couple dozen and take them home and fill them and bring them back, we will be having our um, Easter egg hunt on Palm Sunday during the Sunday school hour. Choir practice will meet again this week on Thursday. Not knowing what the property manager schedule might look like and what else might be going on here at the church, we've just adjusted that to Thursday, and so we'll see you all here at 630. Today is the final day to order Easter flowers. Some of you found orders in your bulletin. For those who need a, a flower order, they are too backed by a map at the sound booth. The deacons will meet shortly for a short meeting right after church as well. Are there any other announcements that need to be made at this time? Okay. So, our song this morning, if you're not used to our routine, is that we do a song for kids. They are part of worship, and we want them to feel like they are part of worship. And so this morning's song is, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Matt has the words up on the wall. I need my kids to stand up and help the adults sing, because you know they can't do it by themselves. They need you to do this with them. And adults, they need you to be alongside them. Okay, right, we're ready.
the stream. Come into God's house. Come and hear what God has done. God has saved the world to breathe the breath of life into us. But God hasn't stopped there. There's more. God is still on the scene, upholding all of our life, surrounding us in power and love. We live, move, and have our very being in God. Let the sound of God's praise be heard. Praise, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you are the source of all creation. You are the maker of the world and everything in it. And the good news for each and every one of us is that you are never far from us. We come into your house seeking you this morning. You are the giver of life and breath. And so we ask that you would reveal yourself to us, that you would dwell with us, that you would abide in us. We live because of you. We hope because of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in whom we live, and the spirit of truth who abides in us, the people of God would say, Amen. Please stand as you are able for the next hymn, our hymn of praise, You Are Worthy of My Praise. The words will be on the screen. <laughs>
When Jesus left his disciples, he gave them a promise, and he gave us one as well. I will not leave you as orphans, for we, his disciples, live in him, and he lives in us. The presence of God within and around us all. What a wonderful promise that is. Take courage, take comfort, and be blessed by God. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Thank you. 